Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 25 bread and butter bolos coming your way. What is bread and butter? What is bread and butter, you ask? Those are items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. Items I bought low and sold for decent profits. Um, most of the time, these are easier to find items like at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to go over each item that I sold. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And hopefully, this is going to help you find these items when you're outsourcing. So lots of bread and butter items on uh, my channel. Just look for bread and butter, search that. Or you can type in big money and I've got lots of big money bolos, bolo videos also. All right, you guys, maybe if I can get my words together tonight, we are going to have a video. All right, let's get started. I'm not going to edit that out. All right. If you have not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. And while you're at it, if you want to share it out, that would be awesome. All right, you guys, let's get started. All right. This first one might surprise you. It's not a big money bolo and it did take a while to sell. I did get two of these, however. So the first one sold a little quicker than the second one. Um, I ended up taking a best offer on the second one. So I sold this for $9 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for 13. So it's a vintage Easter greeting card. It's super, super cute. Um, Cards are one of those things. It's kind of like postcards. Some of them sell for big money. Most of them are bread and butter. Um, you can try an auction, see what happens. Uh, I probably tried an auction originally. I'm not sure. I have had this full disclosure for a very long time. If you get things like this, just plan on sitting on them for a while and waiting on the right buyer. But they don't take up much space and you can get them super cheap typically. The next item I sold is this Shifu Plugo. It's a lot of Count Link and Gamepad Homeschool. I have no idea. I just saw it at a garage sale and I'm like, huh, huh, what is this? I still don't know exactly what it does, but I looked up the comps and they looked good. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I bought this for $3 at a garage sale and I sold it for a best offer of $25. And the buyer was all in for $38.70. So again, I have no clue what it does. It's some sort of like math or building. I don't know. But anyway, they do sell. The next item I sold are these lot of, I think it's G-Go, G-Go, G-I-G-O. Now, when I found these, I had no idea what they were. I had to use a Google Lens. I found these in a mystery box. Um, so my cost of goods was I think I had quite a few things I found in that box. Uh, I think that's where the Barbie cash register came. If you go over to my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, you can check out that unboxing. It's one of the toy unboxings. But anyway, what makes these unique is the facial expressions on the dolls. They are all different. And um, these are a good bread and butter item. If you have a bunch of them and you lot them up, they can go for more. But I probably had a couple bucks in these by the time I divided out the mystery box and I sold these for a best offer of $30. The buyer was all in for $46.24. The next item is this Superheroes Black Panther Okoi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a replacement minifigure. And these are major bread and butter, you guys, but they do sell because people buy Lego sets and it's missing a character and they need the character and they will look on eBay for those. I sold this for $8.64. The buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $13.64 for this little Lego figure. And I, honestly, the Legos, I pick them up in bulk all the time at garage sales. I get them in uh, at thrift stores. I, I pick them up everywhere. So my cost of goods for that was probably like pennies. And I don't remember where that one specifically came from. This here came out of a mystery box and I just thought it was cool. Schley is a good brand. Um, I sell a lot. I shouldn't say a lot, but I've sold quite a few Schley brand animals. And 
it's actually surprising what some of the animals will go for. I definitely bolo for them. They're typically a bread and butter, but some of them can go like 20, 25 bucks if you uh, find some of the vintage ones that are harder to find. So definitely don't overlook them because some of them do sell well. This little lady went for $11 best offer all in. The buyer was all in for $16.52. All right, these candy canes. They came from a thrift store and I've had about 25 cents in them and I sold them for $10.79 plus shipping. You guys, these are so basic. I can't even believe I listed them. And honestly, I'm really shocked that they sold now that I'm looking back at the pictures. But they are vintage and people collect things and maybe somebody had some of these as a kid growing up and they just wanted some for their tree. You just never know. The next item that sold is this loving family uh, baby bear bench chair for twins. It's Fisher Price. I love picking up love and fa loving family stuff. I will tell you that most of the time it is a major bread and butter, but it's easy to list. Um, I know a lot of people will do like multi quantity on these and they'll just leave them listed. But I feel like with vintage toys like this, the wear and tear on them is always different. So I feel like I need an individual listing for each one. So that's my opinion on that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Here's another one. This one is a play school dollhouse. Now, she looks very similar to the Loving Family, but she is marked play school. Let me see if I can find it here for you. Right there on her back. And if you don't know, play school, school is spelled without a C. So make sure that when you do the title that um, you spell school right, play school. Uh, I didn't know that for a very long time. But she sold for $12.99 or 96 cents plus shipping. And again, I don't know where I got her. She's even a little bit dirty. Um, I typically don't clean my toys up. I figure the person, um, unless they're like something big money, but I don't know. That's just me. A lot of people would frown upon that and I understand. But hey, speaking of Schley, um, this horse here, right here, Schley, Germany, 1995. So this is a vintage horse. And it's got some condition issues. It's not perfect. And I sold this for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $17.50. It's amazing what tax and shipping does to the total cost. You know, it really makes you realize what people are willing to pay for a small toy. The next item is this Happy Praises Vintage 1939 Gospel. It's songs. And this actually came from one of my subscribers. She reached out to me and asked me if she could send me a mystery box. And I called it a buddy box. And I opened that box on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So if you want to see what else I got, go over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel and type in buddy mail. Um, so Krista sent me this and I did the unboxing. It was super, super fun. I want to say I've sold three, maybe four items out of the box already. So super, super fun. This was one of the items she sent. It sold for $8.64. The buyer was all in for $12.34. Uh, this Fun World Division skull mask came from a Halloween box. <laughs> I almost said toy box because I have bought a couple toy boxes from auctions for you, but I bought a Halloween box. And she was literally like just showing this Halloween box. And I was like, I want that box. I love selling Halloween stuff. Um, I sold this for $10.79 and the buyer was all in for $17.59. I want to say I got the whole box for either $25 or $35. And it was a ton of stuff. Um, I believe I did that unboxing on this channel, if I remember correctly. If not, it's over on my sourcing with Bola Buddies. I can't remember. The next item is this WWE Elite Series Ultimate Warrior action figure. This is like a wrestler. And I was at an estate sale and it was just like laying on a table randomly. Like some kid walked through the sale and just threw it to the side or something. It was in a really weird place. Um, maybe that is what happened. I don't know. But uh, there were some other toys there, but not much. So this guy sold for $20.16. 
the buyer was all in for $27.40 and I paid a buck for him at an estate sale. The next item is this LOL surprise doll. She's like weird. Um, she's not the normal little teeny ones. I shouldn't say weird, but I've never seen this type before until I found her. She's kind of tall and wide. She's not a little mini figure. So I saw this at a thrift store and I was like, well, I might as well try it. It's from 2019. Uh, I got it for like 25 cents and it sold for $10.80. The buyer was all in for $17.20. The next item was super duper, super duper, super duper long tail. I mean, you got to wait on the right buyer for these. And maybe I should have like sold them individually. I think I probably could have made more money since selling them individually for sure. Um, but yeah, it took forever to sell. And these two are just adorable. So I think I just messed up with keywords. This was a long time ago that I listed this. But anyway, I sold it for $8.63. The buyer was all in for $14.36 um, with tax and shipping. And I don't even remember where I got those. They've been listed for so long. Okay, the splash bombs. Um, these are balls, and I think you fill them with water and throw them at people. Um, made by Primetime Toys, $19.94, so vintage. Somebody reached out and said, I think you got those for free at that garage sale. And I'm like, hmm, I can't remember. It was either at that garage sale for free or it was at this other garage sale where I bought a bunch of stuff. But um, either way, I don't think I had much in them. If maybe I had nothing in them, I don't recall. But I sold them for $17.99. Uh, the buyer was all in for $28.38. And this is probably the third or fourth lot that I've sold. I got a bunch. The next item is this peekaboo plush. She is so cute. She has magnetic hands that go up over her eyeballs. How cute is that, you guys? Um, I don't remember where I got this. Um, I started writing it down in my custom SKU. So this must have been before I started doing that. So I usually pay a dollar or less for my plush. Kind of depends. A lot of times I buy them in bulk with other items. So I sold this one for $20.72 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came out of my mystery vintage toy box from Auctions for You. And you guys, if you have not seen that unboxing, you have got to go watch it because it was loaded full of vintage toys. I pop up screen shares of every single thing that I listed. A bunch of items had already sold in the video, and I learned so much about vintage toys in that video. So definitely go check that one out. It is on this channel. I sold this guy for $10.36, and the buyer paid shipping. This came from just probably a garage sale or a thrift store or something. I, I buy lots and lots of toys all the time. And I sold this for $14.80 and the buyer paid shipping. These are inside out figures, which is a, I think it's a Disney movie. Um, I have not seen that movie. I have no idea. Um, like it's not from like Cinderella and, you know, Snow White from when I was a kid. This is like a newer movie. And I've never sold these toys before. I'm pretty up on the new shows because I sell tons of toys. Um, but look at her face. Anyhow, $14.80 and the buyer paid shipping. So what I did is I took one of the characters, I did Google Lens, and now when I find these characters, I will know that they are inside out figures. So that is how you learn. What's great about watching this video is you guys are going to see this and you're going to be like, oh, those are from inside out. And it may take you a couple times to see it before you remember, but you'll get better. Um, I go to garage sales now and I'm like, I just know what toys are, which things to pick up, which ones are bolos, which ones are going to sell fast um, because I really like selling toys. They're easy to ship and you don't have to worry about them breaking. I hate breakables. All right. The next item is this. Um, these are great too. They don't break either. This vintage J. Lynn 1985 nursery time cross stitch kit. Uh, cross stitch kits range from bread and butter to big money. Always look them up. If they're a dollar or less, I always pick them up because they're going to sell. Some of them may be long tail. 
Some of them may fly out of your store. I sold this for $12.79, $12.79, and the buyer was all in for $19.65. The next item came out of a mystery box. It's a vintage little tights um, white construction hat. This is like a pretend play dress up child size hat. Super cute. You guys, I got to tell you, I almost tossed it in the box and donated it. And for some reason, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this. And it actually sold pretty quickly. I paid, or I'm sorry, it sold for $13.32. The buyer was actually all in for $22.64 with tax and shipping. Um, yeah, I, I just took a chance on this one. And I'm sure there's more things in those boxes that I donate that I could make money on. And I probably... If I didn't, I just have so much inventory and I like doing, I like going through the boxes. It's a guilty pleasure. I'm kind of like addicted to mystery boxes. All right. The next item, I believe these came from that estate sale um, where I got the wrestling figure and I paid about 50 cents for these and they actually sold pretty quickly for $14 and 80 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So this is the vintage Hallmark playing cards. They've got little mushrooms on them and it is a complete deck. And you guys, they're tiny. Not your standard cards. This one came from a garage sale. I did pay $2 for it. It has its original tag. It is the Ghostbusters Slimer Ghost Underground Toy Plush. And um, you know who would like this? Jessie Shops. Jessie would like this. Go check out her channel, Jessie Shops, or check her out on Instagram. Check out her Ghostbusters video. You'll love it. Um, she is so funny. But I don't want to give it away. So go check out her channel, Jessie Shops. All right. You guys have heard me talk about her before. Uh, I sold this guy for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I thought that this was going to be a bolo. I thought it was going to sell super fast. I was wrong on both, both parts. It was not a big money bolo and it took a long time to sell. I have no idea why. Maybe my keywords were bad. I don't know. But I sold it for. $19.97 plus shipping. And I can't even tell you where I got it or what I paid for it because it's been that long. But I thought it was super cool when I bought it. And it's vintage Halloween. Like maybe that's the word I'm missing is Halloween. I try to do all of my videos, not my videos, I'm sorry, all of my eBay listings. If it's a vintage Halloween, I always try to put those two words together because I feel like people search that. I think that's the word I was missing. I may have just figured it out. Okay, you guys, this is a vintage elephant trunk up color fast biker bandana hanky. And I got this at a garage sale for $1 and it sold for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. If you can find these with the trunk up, they can typically be a bolo, especially if you can find one that's new. Mine was in pretty, pretty rough condition. But I knew it was a good one. Um, Eddie Hodges actually taught me about this. And I did a video on it back a long time ago when I first started my channel. But he found some of these that were new. And he made tons of money on them. And I think he said he's going to start working on getting his e uh, YouTube channel going. Like growing it. I think he has, I don't know, four or 500 subs. But he doesn't really do a ton with it. But I saw on his Facebook group um, that he's going to try to get 5,000 subs by the, I think he said the end of the year. I'm like, man, if you can do that, you're amazing. So go check out HodgePodge. And if you go to my channel, this channel, I have a whole playlist on HodgePodge. Um, just search the playlist. And then I think in the description of that video, it should have a link to his YouTube channel. So don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. But he is a wealth of knowledge. I mean, I don't know how many times I have sent him a message like, hey, should I buy this? Um, he's just, he knows his bolos. So definitely go check him out. He also knows a lot about jewelry. So shout out to HodgePodge and his. Facebook group is called Resellers Research something. If you put in Resellers Research, it'll pull it up. But awesome Facebook group also. I think it's getting close to 10,000 members. So 
Uh, again, he's just really knowledgeable. So go check him out. All right, you guys, thank you for being here and thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, put an emoji of a, is there a pumpkin? A pumpkin, put a pumpkin emoji down in the comments. And if there's not one, just write pumpkin if you made it this far. All right, you guys, thank you.